Right ahead, Alex. Well, the Kirby lore master Alex here to give you some sick Kirby lore in Kirby Fighters 2 on the Switch. Uh, Kirby Fighters 2 was a strange game. Uh, it was released at the end of 2020. It got leaked one night. And Nintendo said, no, uh, then they just released it the next day on the eShop for $20 with no fanfare. They just were like, here, here it is. And so nobody really cared when it came out because it, it, whatever. I bought it, though. Uh, Kirby's Fighter 2, Kirby Fighters 2 is a sequel to Kirby Fighters Deluxe for the 3DS, which was also a spinoff of Kirby Triple Deluxe's Kirby's Fighter mode. So it's like Kirby Fighter three parts removed. Um it is a smash style fighting game, but instead of knocking each other off the stage, you have health bars and you play as either Kirby with one of his copy abilities of your choosing, or you also have uh, Bandana D, the Waddle D with the bandana, just so we're clear. Gooey from Dreamland 3, King DDD, Mennonite, or Magalore from Return to Dreamland. Um, the story sees uh, DDD and Meta Knight challenging Kirby to a fight uh they are on, on top of the buddy fight or buddy challenge tower i forget what it's called it's the buddy something tower and they send a letter to uh kirby challenging him um kirby can't read this is in the story itself it says kirby couldn't read the letter but he goes to challenge them anyway um so you you play as kirby uh, or another character along with a friend so you can play with a computer or co-op as you try to clear the tower and get to the top to fight King DDD and Meta Knight. Um, if Kirby didn't go to the tower, they would have just been sitting on top of that tower all day waiting for Kirby to show up, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> <There's> Kirby... <laughs> the no, plot not, a, not really a pl- <laughs> the plot is a little bit suspect, is what you're saying. Yeah, the plot's <laughs> kind of flimsy. Whatever, though, it's just an excuse for a Kirby arcade mode. Um, so the game does have the story mode, which is the arcade mode. It also has online battles and local battles. Um, like I said, you do play as wow. either one of the Kirby copy abilities or one of the other characters that I listed. The copy abilities are co- they have a like sword, bomb, staff, um, yo-yo, beam, beetle, hammer, fighter, artist, cutter, whip, archer, water, parasol, ninja, bell. And new to this game, the first time I ever uh, showed up, is wrestler they've had um uh, suplex before but they actually did a full wrestler character for kirby he has a little luchador mask and everything it's so so cool um and each of the abilities actually have like pretty fleshed out moves for a fighting game uh, you can put in different uh, input commands for stuff like i like using the artist because there's a certain input command you can use where you can make like a, a full statue and then throw it at the enemy or whatever uh, it, was, it was pretty cool um the levels are all themed after different kirby games which i thought was really cool um from star allies to triple deluxe to robobot dreamland 3 there's like three stages based on a uh, superstar and uh, including one with dino blade which is a bitch because the dino blade grabs you during the fight you're basically done he's gonna fuck you up uh there's butter building from kirby's adventure there's a lot of kirby uh fan service here in the game i don't say fan service because that sounds like anime titties but uh kirby <laughs> kirby hey. service for the fans here in kirby fighters 2 um if you are a longtime kirby fan um i've played it on my own and i've played it online some when the online will work for me um but i have also played it co-op with my buddy damon and we tried to climb through the tower uh we cleared some of the the lower towers because like i think at first you do like 15 floors and then you do like 50 floors and then you do like a or like or like something like that i'm on the last tower which is the hardest one where you have to climb like a shit ton of floors without dying and then get to the top uh and then beat the 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 bosses um so it is kind of repetitive, but it, it like it is fun. Between floors, you get the ability to uh, upgrade certain aspects of your fighter, be it the the health, uh, your strength. You get uh, you know consumables. You can change things that happen during the fight. Um, so there is some sort of like customization there. Uh, overall, Kirby's Fighters Two is like twenty dollars, and for twenty dollars, I mean it's a fun little arcade fighting game. I had to look mad. up. I had to look that up, dude, because I didn't even know it was a Kirby Fighters one. 
I was, I looked at that shit, I was like, what the hell? I was playing modern games when these games came out, dude, for sure. These are modern games. <laughs> it's a retro throwback to Triple Deluxe Plus. <laughs> uh, I remember that, like, phase where, like, even in Robobot, they had games. Or I think even before that, if you go like to the GBA era, there were like those Kirby micro games where it would be like up a log or something, or like you know the mm -hmm. the uh, like the Western Showdown, like draw, and then you have to like draw like really quickly. Kirby's always been kind of fun like that, and I, I'm glad to see that Fighters Deluxe is it? Is, no, not is that it? Fighters Two. Fighters Two is competent in that regard. I had a question about the fighting system. How does it compare? Like, I know you said that each Kirby, like there are different abilities that you can choose from as fighters. How diverse are their movesets compared to something like Smash Brothers? Very, I mean, they, they do a good job. I mean, uh, a lot of the moves are gonna feel like if you're playing a regular Kirby game, it's gonna have those, but they add, but they do add some extra abilities in there with them. Um, but it still controls and plays like a regular Kirby side scroller you know like in a sense um so like a lot of the stuff that i do like say i play a sword kirby a lot of the moves feel like it they do in like star allies and stuff but they they add maybe a few more combos or you know whatever it is to to like flesh it out i think sword has always been like a pretty diverse move set mm -hmm. like ups down sides and slashes etc um but what about something like freeze or like needle I haven't used all of them. Like I said, I've used Artist a lot. I've used Cutter. Whip was cool. I, I, I like Whip. Um, so like, but like, I haven't used all the abilities because there are. I mean, like all the abilities themselves count as a character, and then you have the extra characters too. So the, there are a lot to uh, you know, come to grips with. So I haven't used all of them. So I've like, I'm not going to use Freeze because like, <laughs> why would I use Freeze? Like, I could use like, Sword or something. Yeah, or you know, well, exactly. it's not Suplex. It's Wrestler Kirby. He's got a Luchador mask. <laughs> but they have Bandana Kirby now. They have Bandana D. Yeah, Bandana D. Yeah, um, and then also something I, I I didn't mention as well is that you can unlock costumes for all the characters as well, and uh, including each one of the abilities also have different costumes. So you can change like Wrestle Kirby into like Sumo Kirby with like a Sumo Wrestler get up or Yo-Yo Kirby can get like a gamer glasses and hat set. And like this, like it's like stupid costumes you unlock uh, each time you like rank up in the game, you like get, like, get experience points and stuff. Um, and that's really cool to have that like customization. I'm sorry if I missed this, but this is a traditional 2D fighter, like a ring out type. Oh, it's a, uh, it's, it's kind of like Smash Bros, but instead of, uh, knocking the characters off of the stage, you want to lower their health bar. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, so that would just be like a fighting game, right? Yeah, but it's but it's still like a platform fighter, like Smash. Oh, I see what you're saying. So, so, the, yeah, so it's a platform fighter, but with health bars. Gotcha. Damn um, in the mode. Yeah. yeah. Do, yeah. Now, as a Kirby aficionado, which you are, correct? <laughs> Yes, yeah. your t -shirt. that's me. The Kirby. Oh, it's it's Atari. I I, I, I do have a Kirby T-shirt. Oh, I do. And so does Spencer. Shit, I do and too. neither of us are wearing them. <laughs> I will wear it to, to the next Kirby thing we do. I, I'll I wear it for the map out. Completely forgot. I um, find it. <laughs> yeah, but as as a Kirby aficionado, is Kirby being illiterate? Is that uh, consistent through Kirby lore? Yeah, Kirby is often stupid. Kirby is like, baby. I don't want to get in. <laughs> Kirby lore. Kirby is uh, a dumb baby who just eats stuff <laughs> and accidentally saves the world. But it's it's also often hinted at the end of the games and stuff that he is also like a god, mm. like an otherworldly being. <laughs> so, so, so who knows, Spencer? <laughs> How metal is that? Not metal at all, dude. No, it is metal. He's a god. <clears throat> Makes it not metal. Dude, it, Kirby is like a, a little squeaky thing and, and squishing, and the, and it, it's like, uh, that's not metal, bro. It's like a little, me, metal is like black, evil. Well, yeah, but, no. but often, well, there's like a dark Kirby. He often, he, yeah, black Kirby. Well, yeah, yeah, black uh, Meta Knight, you could say, uh, is a lot closer. But at the end of the main games, he usually kills some sort of like otherworldly 
godly boss. Therefore, Kirby is above that. Nah. Bye, bye, bye. Yes. I stand by my <laughs> statement. Kirby's metal. Kirby's full metal. <laughs> metal Kirby. That's fine. Yeah, take that's, you that's... on, take on anyone. <laughs> that's a good. That's a good metal song. It's right? strong. I'll take you on. It's strong. I didn't know we were busting all yeah. the metal music on this one. That's good. Kirby Metal Edition. <laughs> hey y'all, don't forget to subscribe to them button mappers.